Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a tool to check the clearance of the reverse band on a 4L80E or Turbo 400 GM transmission. So here we go. Okay, so I've got a 4L80E um, on the bench here that was rebuilt by somebody else about 15,000 miles ago, um, and the transmission actually developed a reverse issue. So uh, I've gone through it, I've taken it apart, um, haven't found anything really concrete with it except it seems that there's uh, some issue possibly going on with the valve body, uh, stuck check ball. Um, but I did do a lot of research and read about what could cause no reverse and uh, one thing that everybody seems to talk about is the, uh, the clearance for the reverse band. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. If it's too tight it'll cause drag, loss of performance and eventual burn up and of course if it's too loose it'll slip and burn up. So, um, Sonex, um, I read a um, tip from them. Uh, what you can do to check the clearance of the servo uh, the GM special tool is actually a go no gauge, go no go gauge, and a lot of people you know don't have that. Um, but what you can do is you can take an old servo cover. Now I can't take credit for this, but I'm just passing the information along. Um, you take an old servo cover, um, drill a hole here, and another hole here. Tack a nut on it, and then what you do is you bolt the cover back on, and with a dial indicator, you can um, you can measure the travel of this when you tighten this bolt down. Um, Sonex seems to say that uh, 3 16 of an inch or .185 um, is about ideal. Um, so let's throw this together and uh, let's take a measurement. We have our servo piston in place already. You don't have to use the gasket but I don't really want to mar the, the surface of the valve body up, or the transmission up, excuse me. So let's just bolt up our modified servo cover here. I'm just going to use three bolts. I'm just going to use a nut driver. You want to run them down equally because otherwise kind of get hung up in there. Okay, so um, I found that my uh, dial indicator rod actually the right thread for this other hole here. And just give it a little tighten. And then we'll attach our dial indicator over here. Now my eyes suck, so I've opted for a digital one as you can see. Okay, and then we'll turn it on. Okay, and then we'll zero it. And then we'll just tighten. And I've got 0.174. Like I said, the spec is about 0.185. I think uh, of 100 and 100 thousandths or so. I think that'll be all right. Um, that won't be too tight. Um, what you can do if 
you want to reduce the clearance, or actually increase the clearance, you can grind a little off the end of your servo pin. Um, conversely, if it's too tight, or if it's, if it's not tight enough, you can weld a little bit on, and then grind it, and uh, fiddle around with it until you get the ideal reading. So, that's that. Well, hopefully you guys like that. Um, once again, that tool was not my design. Um, I got the idea off uh, Sonic's website on the internet, um, but uh, it seemed to help me out with my um, with checking this here because I want to put this thing together and not have to deal with this again. So, anyhow, as always, thanks for watching Bronco Carl 92, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.